Welcome dear students to the quick solutions of the All India Akash test series. This is test number 7 code C and D. I'll be taking your zoology section. This test took place on 8th of March 2020. Let's get started. Question number 136. Which among these is the correct combination of aquatic mammals? Dolphins and macaca, teropus and trigon, whales and dolphins, testudo and ratus. Let's begin by identifying the mammals in the given options. Option number one, dolphins, they are aquatic mammals, so this is correct. But macaca is terrestrial, it lives on the trees, can be called as arboreal as well. Option number two, teropus and trigon. Among this, teropus is a mammal, but it's adapted for flying and hence called as a flying mammal. While trigon is a cartilaginous fish. Whales and dolphins in option number 3 both are aquatic mammals. So this is the correct set of aquatic mammals that's been asked in the question. In option 4, testudo and ratus. Testudo is a reptile and ratus is a terrestrial animal. So the correct answer here is option number 3. Other examples of aquatic mammals. is sea cow, seals, etc. Question 137. Which of the following is function of insulin? Hyperglycemia, lipolysis, glycogenolysis, protein anabolism. If you talk about the mode of action of insulin, then insulin acts as an anabolic hormone. It facilitates the uptake of glucose by the cells which would lead to hypoglycemia. Thus option number one hyperglycemia would be incorrect. Option number two lipolysis. This is the process to break down fats to release fatty acids and triglycerides which are substrates for energy production. So this is also incorrect. Option number three, glycogenolysis is breakdown of glycogen into glucose, which would lead to again hyperglycemia. So this is also incorrect. Option number four, protein anabolism. Insulin inhibits proteolysis. And in fact, factors like IGF promote protein anabolism. So option number four is the right answer here. The function of insulin would be option number four, protein anabolism. The correct answer is option number four. Question 138. The cell junctions which perform cementing to keep neighboring cells together in animals are adhering junctions, tight junctions, plasmodesmata, gap junctions. The question is asking about the junctions which perform cementing action to keep the cells together. And this is achieved by adhering junctions these junctions adhere the neighboring cells together so option number one adhering junctions is the right junction let's look at the other three options now tight junctions option number two prevents leakage across a tissue so it prevents leakage and do not allow any transferring or communication between neighboring cells. Option number three plasmodesmata is found in plant cells enabling communication between two cells and similarly option number four gap junctions also facilitate the cells to communicate with each other. So these enable the communication or transfer of ions or small molecules and sometimes big molecules as well. But the function of cementing is performed by adhering junctions. The correct answer is option number one. Question 139. Cofactors are essential for the proper functioning of certain enzymes. Which of the following is associated with the enzyme catalyzing formation of carbonic acid in RBCs? Chloride ion, magnesium ion, zinc ion, ferrous ion. The question is hinting towards an enzyme. This enzyme catalyzes the formation of carbonic acid in RBCs. In an RBC students, the carbonic acid is formed due to reaction between CO2 and water. This is a reversible reaction and it takes place due to the presence of an 
enzyme and this enzyme is carbonic anhydrase. This particular enzyme carbonic anhydrase is present in high concentration in RBC and for this reaction to occur the presence of zinc ions is essential. Zinc ions act as a cofactor for this enzyme. The correct answer here is option number 3 zinc ions. Let's look at the other three options. Option number 1 chloride ions are found in extracellular fluid whereas magnesium ions act as an activator for for hexokinase and ferrous is found in heme. The right answer is option number 3 zinc ion. Question 140 the relationship between turnover number and Km is direct, inverse, linear, absent. Turnover number means the number of product molecules that are formed per minute whereas Km represents the affinity of substrate for the enzyme. But remember this affinity relationship is inverse it means if the Km value is higher then the affinity of that enzyme for that substrate would be lower and vice versa the lesser the Km the higher the affinity of enzyme for that particular substrate which means if the Km is lesser the affinity would be higher and when the affinity is higher the turnover number would also be higher because the number of product molecules formed would be higher. Thus the relation between Km and turnover number is inverse. So the right option would be option number 2 inverse. The right answer is 2.